hi hi guys welcome back with another video so today i'm going to be showing you how to properly use charlotte game pass and hjo mecho magic so charlotte her health is 370 and her magic is 1300 now don't be shocked because her abilities does a lot of damage and she has a lot of mass abilities so she can actually hit a lot of people even if you're just targeting one person these are her abilities that she has now I'm going to show you first what power to use when you're fighting one of the opponent. So you're going to begin with using B and M at the same time, like this. And then, once the character's in the air, freeze them with mass freeze by using B. Just like this. Before they unfreeze, quickly shatter them and hit X. Quickly add them on fire by using R, and then use Advanced Freeze by using Y. This is killing them while keeping your health intact. Then use X to shatter and spin over there. You want to keep them down while attacking. Now use Blood Boil by using H. Your other power should be back by now, so just use M and C. Your second combo is using Advanced Freeze and Fire. This is keeping them from attacking while still keeping them pushing their health down, basically. Then shatter them. Use M and V at the same time. Anyone new will also be affected by this. Look how much damage this does. This is the fastest combo. Use V only. Now do Mass Freeze. Then Winds. By using M. Now you want to use Fire, which is R, and then X to Shatter. Then use Push. C and Blood Boil H at the same time. This is one of my fastest combos. Finishes off with an advanced freeze and shatter, and she's dead. Don't let your guard down, because if they have Odino, then they also have Mimi. See? My health is fine, but my magic's a little low. Be prepared for people who like to move around. This can affect your aim. So just use V's to stop them from moving. following Mass Freeze with B. Shatter with X. And then make sure you use R, Fire, Blood Boil, Eight. Just like this. Just use Advanced Freeze and shatter them with Y and X. Easily killed. Now I'm going to start a PvP fight. I accidentally started my powers on purpose, but if you can see how far it is, it's not actually affecting her. So don't panic when this happens. Just use C to push them away. Try to give you as much space as possible. By the time you get up, use Mass Freeze to freeze them. Then use X to shatter and then R. Mimi will use you or anything to push you off. This wasn't looking good because I wasn't able to attack after this. That one slip up is what's messing me up. If you can see, I don't have time to get up, so I'm basically just getting hit. So just use, the moment you get up, just use win by using M. You need to try to get up as fast as possible. Now use blood boil. Keeping her down is the best choice for you to survive. She's about to attack you, so just use Mass Freeze by putting B. Then Shatter, then Fire, X and R, and then you're going to use B, then M. This will take a take. This one flip-up is what made me almost die. 
Thank God I was able to push back. I won barely, but next time I may not be lucky. This is gonna be round three. Guys, this is a real fight. So I'm gonna continue using the combos I showed you earlier against Mimi, just like this. The best thing about V is it also gets anyone in the area. So if someone's ever coming up on you, this is probably the best one. But suddenly in our fight, she changed her combo and started keeping her distance, which started affecting me because a lot of my powers were only able to be used if she was closer to me. So now that she's keeping her distance, I was missing most of my aims and shots. If you can see how Mimi's moving away from me. I didn't know that she changed her combo, so I started to lose. I tried to keep my combo the same, but it was already too late by then. She already knew my combo and she knew what I would use, so she changed hers. And well, this is how I ended up dying. On round three. So Mimi won this round. And again, I tried to do round four. Once again, Mimi stayed and started doing the same combo she just did a few minutes ago. None of my combos were working. Because I wasn't able to do my first ones. And I lost again to her new combo. So I decided on round five to use freeze. I freeze her before she can start and shatter. Then I use fire, M, and then V. Just like this. And then I mass freeze her. I then use shattered X and then blood boil H. You wanna make sure you don't give her time to get up. Sometimes jumping can help you with certain attacks, but not with freeze. So in round six, I did the same one. Just remember guys, the person who attacks the most at the beginning with the most damage normally wins. Unless it's a group of people, but most of the time it's by yourself. Once she changed her combo, so did I. So be prepared for someone to change accordingly to whom you're fighting. Don't expect them to use the same combo. So make sure you always be more flexible and pay attention when you're fighting someone. Round six, I still use the same combo by using a band freeze. This helped me so much when it came to Mimi. She was expecting me to also use the same combo, so when I switched it on her, she also got confused. If you can see, now I'm able to beat Mimi easily. That's all guys, I hope these combos and strategies kind of help you out when you're fighting or battling someone else. We'll be making more combos later. I'll see you guys later, guys. I hope this helped. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye, guys.